Hi friends, welcome to Heat of Pictures. Where to place the focus? Um, this is a great question. We have talked about in another video about um, how to move your focal point where your camera's gonna focus. You can um, toggle that around or you can keep it in the middle and then recompose um, your picture. So in this video, we're gonna talk about where to actually put the focus point um, in order to get the, the perfect focus. So um, first, if you just have one person, you're just taking a picture of one person, I always put the, um, the focal point on their eye. And because eyes are so important to always have in focus. So um, a lot of people put it maybe like right between their eyes, but um, I, I tend to have a very um, shallow depth of field, which means that there's not a lot of focus plane. And so I wanna get their eye um, crystal clear in focus. So I always put it on one of their eyes, that focal point that's in the camera. When you look through your lens, you're gonna find a little red dot um, and you wanna put that over their eye for one person. Um, when it comes to two people, um, I place the focal point where they are touching. So oftentimes I'll say to the two people, you know, go cheek to cheek. And so their heads will be really close in like this. This is somebody's head picture. Um, and so I would put the focal point right here in between where they're touching, because that's gonna give a nice even um, focal plane, getting them both in. Um, or say if they're shoulder to shoulder, then I would put the focal point, place it right over here. Um, or if they're hugging here, then make, you know, wherever they're connected, then that's where I place the focal point. And that, like I said, is just giving you enough um, depth of field to get both of their faces in focus. Um, and then when it comes to two or more people, um, then what I do, like especially if it's a large group, then I, <clears throat> the focal point, or the focus plane, Basically, if you put your um, focal point about in the middle of your group, like find someone who's about middle, uh, middle to upper one third, then you're gonna get the entire group in focus. Um, so th I've read that the it, it's actually one third up. So if, if this is your focal plane, if you go one third up, then the front third and the back two thirds are in focus, but sometimes it's kind of hard to gauge a third when you have a big group. So I have found if I just try to find the middle person or a middle spot, that I shoot for the middle and put my focal point over there and then I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna be able to get um, the entire um, plane in focus and the entire group in focus. Um, of course, you know, if you have one person and you want to take a picture of their ring or something like that, then obviously you put your focal point right over where you want that focus. Um, but just as a general rule, when I'm taking a picture of um, faces, I, I want those eyes um, always in focus. And of course, I have a quote to leave with, leave with you today. It is by Calvin Coolidge. And he said, we can't do everything at once, but we can do something at once. And this really spoke to me this week because I feel like I have such a huge to-do list and sometimes I get overwhelmed um, thinking about doing it all and doing it now. But um, if I just take one little thing, one task, do that, um, and then move on to the next, then I'm fueled and I'm energized and I'm able to get it done. So don't get too overwhelmed with too many things. Uh, I hope you make it a great day and I will talk to you soon.